Now, we are talking about fish and buying fish, and it could be quite intimidating and, and scary to go to the shopping centers and buy your fish if you don't know what to look out for. So there's a couple of do's and don'ts. So we have Julie Carter with us this morning. She's the owner of Ocean Jewels. Julie, how are you doing this morning? How are you doing? Great, thanks. I see morning. you brought along a whole lot of fish for us this morning, eh? So, so you're going to be educating us a little bit on terms of, you know, what to look out for when buying fish to make sure that you do get the freshest fish. So what is the number one basic rule in terms of buying fish? The most important thing is the smell of the fish. Okay. You want a nice fresh smell. You don't want it to be too fishy. Okay. So, so too fishy would mean what? What is it? Like a? It's kind of. Uh, you will pick been it up, I'm sure. Yeah, it's been around. The, well, that's the good thing about fish. You kind of can yeah. tell right away if it's not fresh. Okay. It's got to just smell good. It's got to. It, as yeah. soon as it starts smelling fishy, then it's. All right. Fish. So you know it's a fish. If it smells fishy, don't go for it. All right. So so you've smelt it and you've established that it's okay. What are some of the physical properties that we need to look out for? Well, if you're buying a whole fish like this beautiful yellow tail, yes. um, you want to make sure that the skin is nice and bright and the colors are nice and sh bright and shiny. Um, your eyes are clear. Okay. Um, this one's been prepared for the pan, so there's no gills, but the gills yeah. would be in there and they would be nice and bright, okay. so bright you need red. Nice, nice and good color in there, not yeah. a pale. As, well, they, they kind of go brown. Oh, okay. as, as, as the fish ages, the gills will go brown. All right. So you want nice, bright red gills. And I like to look inside the cavity here. It's got a, it, it mustn't be brown and dry. Right. It must be nice and fresh. And I even give it a good sniff small. in there. Right. So there's well, no bad there's smell in no there. Smell so there. that's a fresh, a whole fish. But often you would buy um, your fish already filleted. Like this one's over here. Yeah, yeah. this is the yellowtail filleted. You can see that it's nice and firm. It's okay. not soft. It's so not to the touch, it must be kind of like. Yeah. All right. And it's not pulling apart. Sometimes you see uh, yellowtail, especially, is um, kind of broken up and oh, pulling wow. apart. Okay. And so this is nice and firm. <clears throat> the flesh is also quite translucent. It's not flat. The, the kind of older fish or fish that's been frozen goes really pale and flat. Okay. Okay. This is angelfish, also lovely and um, pink. Yeah. Your um, hake, white, and tuna, everyone's favorite, must be kind of pinkish to reddish, yeah. never brown. So, I mean, if you know what to look out for, you, you will be easily, you know, be able to spot if that fish is actually yeah. good or not. It's kind of the smell, the texture, and the color. Okay, so those things collectively, if you've got that down, you will always buy fresh fish. Now, talk about fish in terms of, you know, we'll, we'll have like your vegetables, which is seasonable. Is it the same thing with fish? Yes, for sure. Um, we've actually got a good selection of what is available at the moment, sustainable fish that's available at the moment. So we've got yellowtail, it's a beautiful fish, lovely, very versatile. We've got hake, look out for deep sea trawled hake, which is on the sassy green list. Angelfish, which is a very versatile fish, very underrated, um, quite good value for money. And tuna, which is in season at the moment, but the sustainable tuna will be going out of season soon. So right. now's a good time to get some. Julie, thank you so much for, for all the advice this morning and the tips. Really appreciate it. Julie from Ocean Jewels just giving us uh, her tips in terms of how to make sure that you always buy fresh fish. I know what I'm doing this weekend. A lekker snook braai. You can't but still ask to come to your feel-good breakfast show. Here's Kat.